Hello YouTube. Alright, so today I'm going to be drawing a, a foot. So I'm going to try doing this one in um, a 3D look, which is, uh, I mean, I tried the other ones in the same fashion. I drew the, uh, the skull and uh, the, uh, what is it, I drew the hand and then the backbone backbone <laughs> which is the last one so this one is i'm gonna try to see what this looks like in um almost like a what do you want to call it an angle kind of like facing like that like say if you have your foot like that and but you twisted it a little bit well not twisted but moved your foot like that so and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break these up into five little compartments there's one there is two three also be four and the final would be five so each of the doors are gonna to come in these so it'll be the big door the the one right after, the third, fourth, and fifth. So now that we got that out of the way, let's uh, turn that around. And then um, that's where the door is gonna be in that area. I've never really uh, tried drawing the foot this way before. I mean, it's always been like a what I want to say the uh, side view but I've never really tried it as uh, in this view so that's that and okay so we got the basic concept of how the foot's gonna go and then um, I don't know if I'm gonna draw the uh, part of the ankle that goes over here and we'll see how that goes so let's start with the rough work now which is the actual toe the foot uh, is uh, another nice interesting part of the body to draw it's uh, kind of like a upscale version well not well not really upscale but a, a different version of drawing a hand just in a different format so got that move that over So when I was back in art school for that brief time, what I told y'all, we had this uh, perspective drawing class and uh, the professor's name was Bob Lapsley. And um, that was my first ever class of that type, perspective drawing, because uh, I didn't really know what is the exact term terminology. But uh, he, when I was having a conversation with him during uh, the break time and when, the, when the class was on break, he had told me that uh, this kind of drawing is uh, is something that uh, architects use and uh, the whole concept of it is that everything fits uh, inside a box. So whether it be like now for example this, even though the toe is uh, cylindrical in nature, it uh, still fits inside a box 
so it becomes easier when you're drawing um, uh, what do you call it not I could draw it as a cylinder and then kind of rough out the shape but um, I wanted to show you all like the basic of how to do it which would be in the, the in this little rectangular kind of a box and then go from there I mean and y'all can always experiment and try your own different ways to see which uh, which ways uh, work best for you and uh, that that was what he had told us and uh, is like the fact that you know how the uh, everything fits inside a box and then uh, part of the uh, project what we had for that class was um, we had like you know your usual uh, you know you have your bowl of fruits where you draw the banana and apple and all the other fruits and then uh, the uh, other project was to uh, I think we had to choose some sort of uh, a transportation um, I forget what I was trying to say yeah so uh, the project that he had told us uh, he wanted us to do was to try try doing something that we like in a perspective kind of a format so what I did was I chose to draw um, a train and uh, it's not uh, not like your regular um, like the metro but uh, back in Bombay in India we have the um, local trains that use is used to ferry people or take people from the suburbs to the downtown area so and the reason I chose the train is because I felt like because of this project and how I and what I'm showing you in this, like how he started with the rectangle, the train is another thing that fits inside a rectangle. So I figured, let me give it a shot and see how that works out. So my initial drawing, what I drew the train was, uh, it, it came out kind of nice for my first try. But um, when you're drawing perspective, I mean, there are so many different kinds. Uh, I think there's the... Um, there's the perspective which is the everything fits inside a box and then uh, there is the um, I'm trying to remember which is, there was a third point of perspective which is the vanishing points over here and uh, you know kind of like if you were if this was a if this was a high-rise building and you were looking at from the top or from the bottom to the top this would be kind of like a shop view and then um, there's a top perspective which is like if you were looking at something from the um, top down so these were some of the things uh, that we did in that class which is really cool and interesting because uh, once you um, it's going to erase that once you do that it becomes gives you a new way to draw things so i'm going to start with this uh, metal tone over here that so what do you all think I mean do you all uh, like this part I mean do you like the whole drawing the rough part and then um, slowly moving to the um, the inking phase I mean I personally I like the inking phase because that's where the uh, nice beefy looking lines come in the rough yeah, I mean, it's it's cool I don't usually draw um, in the rough phase I usually start out directly with the inking phase and for no particular reason because it's digital so you can do it and you can erase as you go but um, because I'm doing these tutorials I just wanted to show y'all how um, if you're beginning that is in uh, this phase because this is kind of I mean it signifies how you would do it if, if you had like a traditional piece of paper and a pencil which is what I used to do I mean I still do it occasionally now and then but yeah uh, so, 
Alright, so let me uh, continue in this phase and uh, I'll just speed up a little bit to go from here to here and then we'll slow back down again for the uh, uh, for the uh, ink phase. Alright guys, so I went ahead and finished all this part and if you notice in the uh, drawing that I did or the rough sketch I did earlier on, I um, didn't like how this area was kind of looking so what I did was I erased it and uh, did a ball kind of a section over here that signifies the ankle area and then this would be the part of the uh, leg bone that comes in so I'm gonna turn down the opacity and uh, we'll begin inking this layer so turn it down all the way to about 40 Oops. Select that layer and let's uh, begin with the toe. I'm going to try some pressure movements or uh, application with this one. Because I think uh, what I did with the other ones is like the line looked too symmetrical or too perfect so I'm gonna try uh, a little bit of different style with this to give it that nice skeleton uh, crunchy look too. So now for this area over here, I'm going to give uh, the um, illusion that there is uh, depth by uh, for starting with this uh, bone. Well, not a disc, but kind of like more like an arc. Now, drop some ink in there. Boom. I'm going to proceed with the other part of the toe. The people watching out there, what is what is your favorite things to draw? I know mine is skeletons and skulls in the past, or now recently in the past few years. But uh, before, when I first started drawing, I was a big fan. My things to draw was all mechanical stuff, which were planes. Um, the um, the specific part of the plane that I enjoyed drawing was the turbine engines because I really liked how the uh, shape of the the actual uh, blades were. <laughs> One of the joys of having to make videos and content like this for YouTube is when you have a full house and uh, there's always something going on. So, part of why uh, <laughs> the video has an abrupt me going and uh, over there is because my uh, mother-in-law just came into the room and um, I had to stop recording because I didn't want to have that being on the YouTube video. So, yeah. So, anyway, so as I was saying is, uh, I like drawing planes and I like... Um, 
drawing the propellers and all that and then um, the other things that I liked even more was drawing uh, construction equipment and I just had my power go wonderful <laughs> it never stops so it's uh, let me uh, stop over here and I'll <laughs> be back in a few minutes <laughs> all right people I am back from that little intermission so that's where I stay I stay in India and uh, we stay in a place where um, the power companies has these games that they play with us where they uh, turn on and off the lights as they will it's all it's almost like as if our whole power grid was a switch so when the guy gives a signal to the little guy at the bottom he's like shut it down and everything gets shut down and you just wait and wait and wait and wait in anticipation for it to come back and um, if you're like me and recording with a phone that needs a constant uh, lifeline to record you kind of almost have to put your recording on hold and be like all right let me wait till the power comes back and then I'll start recording so a video that can uh, be done in one take ends up being uh, more like six takes so yeah <laughs> that is uh, the joy of it but you know what it's it's fun making these videos like this and um, when I tried making my videos early on which was I had to come up with a script and um, edit the script and then when I wish to read the script over I was like ah man that didn't sound right so I'd go and go back in and edit it and then I would read it again and then the first paragraph didn't sound right so I was like you know what I'm just going to um, turn on the camera blah <laughs> turn on the camera with all these nonsense uh, edits and um, well actually I don't know what the hell I was just saying um, to do these edits kind of takes too long so I figured again that I will uh, turn on the camera and just hit record and um, talk to y'all and uh, have a fun time enjoying drawing at the same time so yeah so now uh, I'm gonna work on this uh, second toe because uh, drawing the first toe was already uh, there we go and uh, interesting moment and yeah sometimes I can um, talk and just think of things to talk about and then sometimes my mind goes blank like just all of a sudden like you know but uh, all right so like how this is looking so far so now I'm gonna start from here and then now uh, show this part of the door I don't know why the uh, digital pencil sometimes does that where it skips do you feel people drawing out there digitally have that happen to you I noticed I mean sometimes you have these little kind of like debris or something sometimes show up on the screen so that's what causes the pen to skip and then you gotta use the um, uh, what's it called window I mean not window but like a screen sc screen cleaner and then get that stuff off so that way the pencil does not skip and do what it's supposed to do see I did that again over here so I go like that with my thing and erase it from here annoying but hey 
that's sometimes it ends up being a good mistake and then sometimes it's just annoying so and do this part of the door Depth over here. So what I was asking all early on is uh, how I told you that um, I didn't always draw skulls. I used to draw mechanical things. And um, so do you all have any stories like that? That uh, we all started drawing something, or um, you know, start maybe drawing landscapes, and then you all kind of experiment with something different. I tried landscapes, not, not, uh, what do you call it? I didn't go like full throttle into it. I mean, it was just not my thing. But now, uh, I think when you draw landscapes and you do it in an abstract version, I think then it has uh, a more unique look and feel to it. Like for example, if you were to draw the uh, a beach with the sand and the waves i mean you know you have the uh, beige color of the sand and the blue for the water i think if you illustrate it in an abstract style i think it looks much way cooler than if you were to just um i mean yeah you i mean you could do it in acrylics and you could do it in um uh, what is it oil paints but I personally think is that if you uh, do it in an abstract sense it almost gives it much more a lot more storytelling in it and you can use so many different colors to uh, tell the story of what you're creating I like how this part has come out. Let me uh, let me redo this door. So I'm going to use the selection tool, and I'm going to ta -da. I'm going to start that back up. See, and that's the cool part about uh, digital, which is what I like is if you don't like something you can um, just use the selection tool and uh, erase and then go on with the rest of the drawing so there's that and now i'm gonna work on um, this little part over here that signifies the ankle Uh, give it some sort of a different look over here. I know I drew it circular over here, but uh, I'm gonna try something different. Almost give it like a, a rocky kind of a texture. This part of here, I'm gonna take that in. Since I bought that out a little bit more, I'm gonna take this part in. Okay. And then for this part over here, I'm gonna do this uh, disc on the top, so it kind of shows that the uh, bones are. Uh, Hollow. <laughs> I 
at that nice cylindrical look. So the people watching out there, what is it about drawing that you'll like or you'll dislike? And uh, what is it that you'll do for a living? Do you do something creative? Are you, um, I don't know, do you have another profession out there and um, maybe you just do drawing to unwind? Kind of like, you know? Maybe somebody uh, takes up gardening as a hobby. For me, what I used to do uh, before, and, that, and what I mean by before is five years ago, six years ago now actually, I used to be a truck driver. I um, was a truck driver in the US. And I used to drive for the, if anybody out there is watching this from the US, I used to drive for the uh, Big Orange, which uh, anybody knows that is the pumpkin carrier out of Green Bay, Wisconsin, called uh, Schneider. It used to be Schneider National, and then um, they uh, rebranded themselves to uh, Schneider. So. Maybe I'm going to talk to you all and tell you all about those stories going down the when I create this art over here for you guys as a tutorial. I'm going to maybe tell you all about I mean, you all obviously I will follow along. But um, for any truck drivers out there, comment below what's what's trucking like now back in 2024. I mean, I left it in 2018. So I know what was relevant back then. But uh, what's new in trucking now? Has anything changed? Have you all seen any of the uh, Tesla autonomous trucks on the road? Or was that just a gimmick? And it just uh, the only videos that showed up of it were online. But um, and I think if I'm not mistaken, the uh, the video that I seen online was uh, the um, I think the first demo of when the truck was originally launched. And I think it was out in uh, Vegas, but I think the design of the truck was cool. The fact that you could get in from the center, it almost had like that um, aircraft uh, aerodynamic look to it, which is what I thought was really cool. And the fact that it had uh, these really cool uh, black rims. But, uh, has any of you guys um, seen the um, uh, actual Tesla truck? You know, the one. Um, <laughs> I still remember this video when um, Elon Musk was doing the um, demo to show how how strong the truck is and I think they threw a bowling ball and it was like smack <laughs> in the um, it was supposed to be the, the most strongest truck and when that uh, bowling ball uh, just decimated the uh, side window of the driver I mean it was kind of like uh, Elon Musk had that oh shit kind of look on stage but I mean he continue to still talk about it but I think uh, i trying to remember where I watched that video I think it must have been on YouTube only but uh, it was a fun video to watch in my mind I'm like oh I think you just showed what the truck cannot do so <laughs> but yeah uh, all right so let me uh, finish this part off and then I will see you guys again for the uh, coloring of it so catch you in a few minutes all right guys i am back so this is what i ended up uh, doing with the shading i uh, gave the um, foot some more cracked looks um cracked looks <laughs> uh some more cracks to it so it kind of looks like i mean this foot's been walking around for a long time 
and then I gave these uh, little dots if you can see them but um, put these little dots to give it come more like the you know how the obviously the foot at the bottom always looks more worn down than the top and I changed the uh, background to like a lightish gray so that way you could be able to see the colors so what I'm gonna do in this one before I I chose these as the colors which is a uh, very lightish uh, green then like a almost like a mint green and then like a slightly darker version of that and then a darker version of this color so I want to try different colors of green this with, with this one but before I start that what I'm gonna do is I want to give this foot uh, kind of like a twine look like you know there's like as if there were twine growing in and out of it so I'm gonna do that by starting over here This is the first one that I'm doing this to and we'll see how it looks and then based on how this one goes uh, maybe I'm gonna do it in the other ones or maybe I'm not. So the point of this is to make it look like as if this foot were sitting in nature and uh, the twine is uh, or the roots kind of like a uh, growing in and out of it so it comes in or oh, it starts from the underneath of the toe wraps around goes in through the uh, bone over here and then kind of comes out kinda, almost like a creeper plant it's that and then draw a little hole or a notch from which it's coming out And then to make it look even more uh, grungy, leafy nature looking, I'm gonna have these little leaves. And then add that drop of, use the drop of, uh, bucket. Let's make this leaf a little bit more sharp. Okay, there's that. And we'll add uh, another leaf over here. And then another leaf over here. Drop the colors. And then I'll continue with this twine look. For the rest of it all right so i'm gonna put some uh, more of this twine give it the leaf look or the look of the leaf on it Probably wrap it maybe over here coming out from here and then Now, let's go and merge this layer with that. Let's start on the coloring. So I'm probably gonna color the foot, this color over here. So I'm gonna select that. 
just drop the color over here. Oops. <laughs> right. So I'm gonna drop the this color over here. And then have that go to the rest of the foot. This part over here, which is the inside, I'll just choose this color. Can't really tell that much of a difference, but okay. Now I'm gonna. Actually, you now it's gonna be mostly all shading with all these colors. So let's do this. Let's make a flipping mask. Let us select the dark color, which is this over here. And then let's try the uh, shading with the selection tool. nice about this uh, selection tool is besides having to uh, shade something you can also use it to take away color so let's drop that over the vector okay and then we'll do the remaining of the Shadow down here. It's amazing how uh, shading something can now. Uh, change the look from a flat look to a more three-dimensional look just by uh, combining two different colors a lighter color and the darker color I think for me shading has uh, definitely been something I've ch uh, had challenge with when I color so I've always tried to look at uh, different tutorials of other artists that have done uh, shading videos on their channels to learn what they do and what they don't, what they try to avoid. So see, just uh, giving that darker color over there gives it the feel like I mean there's that part of the bone is more facing the underneath. that for this part as well this time I'm going to try a little bit of a different uh, technique instead of uh, using the eraser I'm gonna use the uh, selection tool to see how that looks. So now we're gonna do the shadow for this part. Let's go that. And to get it off it there. select let's go and fix that oh. all right now we're gonna work on this toe 
in this part of the bone and then so on and so forth and then slowly work our way through the drawing so I'm going to start this one you know, let me know what you guys think in the comments if uh, you like following along with these uh, videos or is this part boring or is it somewhat informative I think the new the new people following along might uh, get some value the seasoned veteran artists maybe not maybe they might enjoy the storytelling maybe try a rough sketch with this one, I mean uh, just with the pencil. And then just shade it in over there. The more I look at this green foot I'm thinking of the uh, you know the vegetable uh, brand Green Giant <laughs> or maybe the Hulk I mean this is too skinny to be the Hulk's foot but maybe the Green Giant what if the Green Giant's skeleton is also green just like him So what's the weather like where you guys are watching from today? It's raining over here. So you always hear the drops of rain on the different surfaces out there, especially when it hits the steel. Almost sounds like a nature's version of a drum playing orchestra. So now I'm going to do the uh, shadow or in this d dark green part for the rest of it and um, let me check back with you in a few minutes and show you what the other part of the color adding looks like. So check back with you in a few minutes. Okay guys, so this is what I ended up doing. I used the uh, selection tool and I did the dark version first then I went to a little lighter color and then finally I went with this uh, lighter shade so it kind of looks uh, that gives it that 3d look and I gave with this for the spot part of it which is just like that so here's something different that I tried this time and I did that Kind of like a, almost looked like a cloud look. So what I did with that was I used the selection tool and just drew out a random shape. You know, try something different. And you can make any shape you want. I was trying to give it like a, the weathered look. So that, choose a selection, just drop that in there, deselect. Alright, so I'm gonna do another pattern like this on this side. like that I'm gonna 
internal spots like this over here. You know, to give it more of like a sparkle, kind of like a almost like a shine to the uh, skull. Oh, not skull, I'm sorry, to the foot. I think that is going to sum up this. So a quick recap is I uh, did the rough uh, drawing. I then uh, went ahead and did the line art with the coloring. And then I chose these uh, to work with these four colors to do the shading as well as the highlights. Uh, this is the final thing and then I oh yeah I added this twine look which I didn't have in the other ones but I thought this was something uh, different that I could do for this one so with that being said I hope you guys enjoyed this and um, I guess we'll look forward to the next one <laughs> like dislike Thumb sideways. Oh, la, la, la. So, I guess keep creating, keep drawing. I'll see you down the road or on the other side. Till the next time, take care. Bye.